Shalom. All praise goes to the Most High, the Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, Double Honest, the Apostles, and those great millstone. Shalom to the out there pushing this word in all sincerity and honesty. Um, I'm continuing the last video. So I have to change um scenery, I have to change locations. But uh, through the spirit, I'm gonna finish that video. All right. I was going to Doomsday and Doomsday prepping, and through the and through the spirit, the men, the Lord's chosen men, the Lord on part of that number are spiritually Doomsday prepping. All right. By keeping these words, keeping these words, it does not the uh, wisdom, the wisdom, uh, uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. According to the Bible, to the best of our ability, is doomsday prepping. Because the the men that serve the Lord, all right, most likely are the elect, all the elect, all right, only elect are going to serve the Lord, all right, and those are the ones that are going to be saved during uh, doomsday, which doomsday is ultimately those thermonuclear missiles being destroyed, uh, be being destroying destroying America, okay, in different parts of the world, and and all the disasters that's going on that will take place in those towns, those chariots. All right, blaze uh, setting fire around the world, not just in America, but those charts will be all over, also. Okay, now uh, I got a few scriptures I was going to finish off. I uh, left, left off at this is our uh, second Peter 2 and 9. The Lord knows how to deliver the ungodly out of temptations and to, res and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So it says that uh, the Lord knows how to deliver the, un the godly. Out of temptation, how are you godly by obeying the Lord's such commandments? That's talking about the Lord's elect. All right, those are the ones he'll he'll uh, deliver out of temptation, and that ultimate yeah temptation is going into breaking uh break the laws. You know, scriptures talk about the fiery darts, the fiery darts of Satan. You know, or all those temptations, but spiritually, but, but really, but not really, but the main temptation is that our body microchip. All right. When that when they when they uh say yo you can't you, you gotta take this chip or you can't you can't feed your family you can't eat you can't work all right without taking this chip that's the ultimate temptation all right two thirds is gonna fall into that temptation but that temptation is death okay the scripture says you take the mark of the beast which the mark of the beast is the RFID micro chip you take that chip you will be destroyed all right ultimately by way of thermonuclear missiles fire. All right, it says, I read it again, 2 Peter 2 and 9. The Lord knows how to deliver the ungodly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. The day of judgment is talking about thermonuclear missiles. Matter of fact, if you keep on reading into uh, into uh, 2 Peter, uh, I believe, um, when it talks about he uh he he's not gonna destroy this place by water, but it's reserved onto fire. All right. Uh. Uh. Shoot. I think it's Saint Peter three. The Lord is not slack to send His promise, as much as slackness, repentance. Okay, come the Second Peter three and six. It says, "Whereby the the world that then was." Being overflowed with water, perished, but he, but the heaven and earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. See that ungodly men, man. So you building these underground bunkers, okay? You um putting all this money into uh weapons, all right? Special backpacks. To hold equipment like first aid kits, um, uh, gadgets, you know, pocket knives, you know, all, all these things. I can't find in your backpack. All these things preparing prepare for doomsday. You might get, you might, you know, you might, you might get somewhere. But ultimately, you're going to be destroyed by way of thermonuclear missiles. All right? Because you're ungodly. Because cause if, if you're not following the Lord's such, such commandments, you're ungodly. All right, the man from the, in the eyes of somebody else, you're the most nice person. All right, you gotta follow these laws, that commandments. All right, you can't just be nice and expect and and, and cut you, and, uh, shave up your bed and get a shape up and ex and expect to be saved. Okay, so yes, real doomsday prepping is is uh obeying these laws, that commandments to the best of your ability. Um.
add one more script and I'm gonna end it on that. You know, the logo, uh, brothers, brothers edified, okay. Logo, you know, brothers keep doing the works, I keep doing the works and get up out of here. Um, it's a lot. This is our Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Right, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right, which his name is not um, Jesus Christ. Um, God, his name is not Yo Play Yogurt. All right, you can't just call on any name. Okay, the name of the Lord is uh, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, Yahweh, he is or he is to be. All right, that's the Most High. And, uh, Bahashim do uh do uh Yahweh Shai. Alright, he is the deliverer. Okay. Alright. Um so that's that's the names, man. That's the names you got called on. Okay. Right, because Yahweh Shai is the mediator between us and, 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 and the most high. We don't talk direct to the most high. We speak to Yahweh to Yahweh Shah, and then he speaks to the Heavenly Father. Okay? But, um, yeah, I read it again, Proverbs 18 and 9, uh, 10. It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, and is safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right? Because you call upon that name, you pray upon that name, and that name, that's those are the, are the men that's going to, are, are the ones that's going to deliver us. All right? It's a strong tower. Houses and the, and the righteous renter and is safe because when, when the days of temptation, the days of uh Jacob's trouble, we can call upon that name, all right, and we're gonna see these evils fall upon these people and it's not gonna touch us, all right, it's not gonna touch us. But uh, with that, uh, her brother's edified. I was gonna say, All oh, praise goes to the most high and the sun, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, and double honesty apostles, and that was a great millstone. Shalom.